Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. I uh, went for a ride on the 70 series rear tire. I've put over almost 300 miles on it. And this ride right here, I was with my wife. We decided to go down to Indiana, check out a couple things, uh, grab something to eat. You know, 4th of July weekend, so... But anyways, I just wanted to give you a little review of the 70 series tire that I have on the back of this thing. So, here we go. Start the intro. figured I'd do a review on this 70 series rear tire. There's do's and don'ts. Uh, if you're a short rider, I wouldn't recommend putting it on because it does lift the bike up. Uh, three quarters to an inch, right in that area, that general vicinity. Uh, so that's if you're a short rider, I wouldn't do it. If you ride two up a lot, I would recommend putting a 70 series tire on the back of your motorcycle. Now this has changed the whole set of my cycle. And I, I will tell you guys, you know, the next tire I go is gonna be a car tire. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, but I really wanted to get a little bit more of a feel for this bike before I did that. Uh, the one tire that I took off already had a flat spot on it, like a car tire, so I already was feeling road changes between the lanes, the little gap. I was already feeling that stuff anyways. So what's the purpose of, oh, don't put a car tire on, don't go dark side, because what's going to happen is you're going to feel the road and, and, you know, but there's do's and don'ts to dark side. Uh, there's more do's than don'ts in my eyes. But back to the 70 series tire, uh, I recommend getting it. Now, I will tell you, if your gold wing is screaming when you're running 70 mile an hour and, you know, just winding out, it just uh, usually when I run 70 with a 60 series tire, I'm pushing 3,500 close to four grand. And that to me is screaming. I mean, it's just screaming while I'm doing 70, 75. Well, the 70 series tire took me down to just over two and a half grand at 70 mile an hour. So one, I'm saving gas. Two, it's put the speedometer back on to where it's not five mile an hour off anymore. Uh, so there's do's and don'ts to it, guys. But I recommend it. I do ride two up a lot. My wife goes with me. Um, I mean, it just changed the whole feel of the bike. It's it, it's not so squirrely in the back end anymore. It's more it, it's it's more responsive. Um, you know, I go through the gears quicker, which is in, in my eyes good. Uh, you know, because I don't I don't have a lot of bog down with it either. Uh, usually, if I'm in overdrive under 40 mile an hour, it, it wants to act like it doesn't want to go because I'm in such a low RPM, high gear. Well, it's not like that no more. So there's there's a lot of dues for a 70 series tire. And again, guys, I'm telling you, if you haven't put a 70 series tire on the rear of your bike and you ride two up a lot and you're not five foot eight inches, you're going to be fine with a 70 series. Get that 60 series off of there. You can even go 65. That'll get your speedometer closer to accurate. Uh, but I went ahead and went 70 series. I am going to hook up a trailer to this by the end of the summer because I want to pull my dog with me when I go places. However, that being said, 70 series is a thumbs up in my eyes. Um, again, for the rider that weighs 145 pounds, that only rides by himself, uh, maybe an FB6, which is a gold wing without the trunk, 
um, or I should say tour pack to be correct. Uh, for that guy, I wouldn't do it. I, I'd maybe go to a 65. But if you ride two up a lot, if you put a lot of weight on the back of this motorcycle, I would go 70 series. It, it just pushes it up. It, it does have a little bit more lean. I have more clearance on a lean. Uh, there's a lot of dues to it, guys. So if you haven't done it, this is the 70 series review. Uh, one, I believe that was a 180, 70, 16. So this is a 70 series tire review. I did a, a Bridgestone. Uh, I didn't want to go Dunlap because I'm going to replace this tire. When this tire goes, I'm putting a car tire on it and I'm going to go double dark side and we'll put a, a rear tire on the front. Uh, a lot of people are doing it. Again, the, the, the purpose of a car tire on the back of this motorcycle, if I run over a nail or a screw, I'm going to want to plug that to get where I'm going, but then I'm going to replace that tire. But with a car tire, I can plug it three, four times and not have a care in the world. So that's going to be a different different video when I do dark side. But again, guys, 70 series rear tire on a gold wing does pick it up a little bit more. Uh, so if you're short, I wouldn't recommend it. If you ride two up a lot, I would recommend it. It, it just makes the bike feel totally different. Puts the speedometer where it should be. Uh, you go through the gears a lot quicker. Um, and you're running at a lower RPM on the, on the expressway. So there's your 70 series review, guys. Any other questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, but I will be moving on from there. And, and we got to get this front tire taken care of yet. But we will. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Hope you all enjoyed your 4th of July. If you want to subscribe, please click to subscribe. Uh, you'll see all my videos that are coming up. Um, have a good one. Thanks for watching.